Mr. Renzi stated the political sphere across Europe is totally different compared to five years ago and cited the rise of populist movements from the centre-left and Brexit of undermining the power of the German Chancellor. Mr. Renzi dismissed the credentials of candidates Germany, Spain and even Italy and paved the way for Mr. Macron to become the kingmaker of Bloc. The former Prime Minister of Italy told the Financial Times, five years ago we had a totally different situation. Merkel was unbelievably strong in 2014. Today Merkel is the weakest she has been in 15 years. Theresa May is struggling with Brexit and the UK will be out of the EU. Sanchez in Spain lost the budget vote. Italy has its current government. There is only one country left and that is France. Emmanuel Macron will be the leader. The kingmaker for the next five years, despite facing his own political upheaval over the rising cost of living from the Yellow Vest movement and falling approval ratings, Mr. Renzi was confident the French president was the right man for the role. He added, no country is identical to another. Macron is a president for five years in a country with strong institutions. I was a prime minister for three years fighting day by day to maintain the job and at the same time give a vision for Italy. Angela Merkel is to step down from the CDU in 2021. Image. Getty, French President Emmanuel Macron is tipped to be the spearhead for the EU. Image Getty, I am not worried for Emmanuel. He is a good guy and a leader with a vision. The projected rise of Mr. Macron, 41, comes as Ms. Merkel announced she would not seek re-election as leader of the Christian Democratic Union, CDU, in 2021. Ms. Merkel has been a prominent figure in EU policy since gaining power in 2000, but her open-door stance on immigration proved highly divisive and saw her party suffer losses in the last election to the far-right movement. Former Prime Minister of Italy Matteo Renzi image Getty. Meanwhile Mr. Renzi believes the bloc can still prosper amid adversity and the death of Europe due to the rise of anti-establishment movement has been greatly exaggerated, he added, it is very easy to be populist when you are in opposition, but when you get into government reality becomes your enemy. Populists may have been able to beat traditional parties once, but eventually reality will beat the populists.